How are we all doing guys and girls? So where am I going right now? Well, I'm actually going to go and find some screws for my new shelf that I've got. I've been meaning to do it for a while now, but I've just been too busy. Oh, look at those pop, crackles and bangs. So what the shelf is for, it's going to be used for all my motorcycle gear, my motorcycle helmets, because I've got a little hanger as well that I'm going to put up. And then what I'm going to do then is get a little storage box for below my shelf. Oh, that's indication next to the horn. <laughs> So yeah, I need some proper screws because the wall that I'm putting it on, it's pretty much just plasterboard, so it's not going to hold very well with just some normal screws. So I'm hoping Wilco's got something decent because they do usually have some nice tools in there, some nice equipment. So let's just hope for the best because I don't want to go to B&Q because it's just way too overpriced. was interesting I did get the screws they look pretty decent so I'm hoping they're gonna stick to the wall okay but I had a guy that came up to me and he was looking to get a Honda Grom and he's just seen this bike and he really likes it so hopefully <laughs> I've converted him to getting this rather than a Honda Grom and then another guy came up at the same time and it's just one of those bikes you know it's such a good looking bike that everybody wants to have a look, everybody wants to come over and see what it's all about and what it is. So I absolutely love this bike, it's such a laugh. It always brings somebody over. Oh look at this view guys and girls, absolutely amazing! Honestly feel sorry for my bike right now, this is such a hill to take on. Look at those views, guys and girls. Absolutely amazing. Oh, damn it. This road is definitely good for getting a balance point, though. That was nice. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, guys. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. But I felt that balance point then, guys. I think that's a really good road to practice on. It's just so, so nice. Oh god, that was the police. <laughs> oh god. I hope that wasn't because of me, bloody hell. But anyway guys and girls, what I really want to talk about is motorcycle security and the motorcycle security that I use and what you should be using. So let's pop back to the house and I'll show you the chains that I'm using. What's that person doing? <laughs> They're hitchhiking. <laughs> guys and girls so we're back at the house again and I'm going to go through all the motorcycle security devices that I use on my bike let's get to this so first of all we have here the Oxford Mammoth and um, it cost me around about 70 pounds at the time when I bought it and as you can see it is an absolute beast it is such a weight like on the thickness of the chain I'm not too sure why it is but it is just an absolute beast. Just look at this thing. And I've had that for a few years now. Now I definitely suggest you get something like this. Something that's Fatchum approved. Something that's <laughs> a good weight, a good size. Now here is my newer chain and lock. And this one I got from Wilco's for around about £14. It's a pretty basic lock and chain. I wouldn't trust it entirely with my life but it's also good enough just to leave overnight, especially where I live. Where I usually put it is I lock it to a post, 
that's right outside my door. And then also a disc lock as well. You definitely need one of these bad boys. Now I did have a Oxford Screamer, I believe it was, but it was an absolute pain in the bum. One time when I actually had the screamer on, because I'd always struggle in the morning to try and get it off and it would always end up going off with the alarm. And a cyclist went past and he pulled up, <laughs> took one look at me when I was trying to get the lock off my bike with that alarm going off. And next thing you know, the police showed up to my house, which I'm very happy that he did that because he obviously thought I was trying to rob the bike or whatever. So that, that's fantastic that he did that. I guess in a sense, it's proved that that screamer worked, but it was an absolute nuisance for me because every time I'd go and do it, it would go off and I'd be there for ages then panicking, trying to get it off. Uh, but yeah, that's also a good little device as well, but that's quite costly. I think that cost about £50 at the time. But all in all, what I usually have is a combination of that and also that. I'd also take a disc lock with you everywhere you go, really, because it's always good when you're out and about just to lock it on there. Because these uh, steering locks are rubbish and they can easily be broken. So this I have actually only just found recently again because I've had it for years and I've struggled to find it. And I have found it again now, so I will be putting that onto my bike as well now. Because the more security, the better. I've heard of so many people's bikes getting robbed, and it's just never a good thing to see. So, a combination of all of that, guys and girls. If you're starting out and you're not too bothered about your bike, you know, it's not a brand new bike or anything, then yeah, go for this. You know, it's cheap, it's cheerful, it'll do the job. And any security is definitely better than none at all. As long as you've got something there to make sure that your bike is hard to get at, to steal, to take from you, whatever it is, then it's a good thing. You need to have some kind of chain or some kind of lock on your bike. I've seen it so many times where people have had a massive chain and lock and all they've done is wrapped it around the wheel. And I'm like, what's the point of that? You know? That's the whole point you have a chain and lock, is to lock something to something, you know? Because <laughs> um, it's so easy just to lift bikes up and put in a van or whatever. So, please guys, lock your bikes to something. Something that's in concrete, preferably. Something that's not going to move, because it's so easy just to pick a bike up, put in a van, and then you'll never see it again. Now, I'm not saying that'll happen to you, because things like that, where people go around with vans... It's very targeted, you know, whereas people who just try to luck and get at a motorcycle, that's just very random. Usually they go around the streets looking for bikes and then that's it. But whereas a van, they'll probably follow you for a while before they actually take your bike. So that's even more scary, to be honest with you, is the fact that people will be watching you outside your house and stuff. So always remember just to lock your bike to something solid. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my security, guys. That's all I've ever had. As for these alarms, I might actually test it out. I might get a little cheap eBay alarm and put it onto my bike, see what it's like, see if they're any good, see what the flaws are, see if I can even just get around it, really. Let's see if we can break through an alarm. Because you see them all the time, these little cheap alarms and people put on, on their bikes. Personally, I don't think they're that good, but it'll be interesting to see how good they really are, especially for how cheap they are as well. But the more security, the better. Like, if your motorcycle's parked outside your house, then make sure you get, like, a floodlight or something. So, if anybody goes there, it's going to light up, it's going to scare them off, hopefully, or a camera or something like that. I mean, cameras don't always prevent crime, so, you know, it's not that useful. But once they've taken it, hopefully you can find out who has taken it and get your bike back. Also for those trackers as well, you can get GPS trackers nowadays. Possibly in the future I might see how they go and if they're any good. Um, but yeah, I think they can be quite expensive as well. So that's something to look forward to doing in the future, especially if you've got a really expensive bike. Get the best security that you possibly can afford. That's what I'd say to people, is get the best security that you can afford. Just before I go as well, that little disc lock that I just showed you then, it was around about £4 from eBay, and I've had that for years now. So, just something like that. Just something to prevent people from going at your bike. They might take one look at that and think, no, I can't be bothered. 
you know, they might not be an experienced thief, they might not be used to doing it, so it's just things like that put people off. Otherwise, they would have just rolled it away or something. But anyway, guys and girls, I hope you have a fantastic day. If you haven't yet liked, please like. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't yet tapped that bell and boom, tap that bell because it'll notify you of any more of my videos coming up in the future. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye!